time has come to review my G1 Jetfire. That's his name. I don't care. His name is Jetfire. So G1 Jetfire is a repaint of a Robotech Macross mold. Um, I can't remember exactly what the thing is called. Um, so it, it's, it's a Macross. It's Robotech. So it has a face that doesn't look anything like it did in the cartoon. It is way bigger than what you will see any of the normal Transformers. I think um, Ultra Magnus might be about this tall when you put them together, if I remember right. But I don't have one, so I couldn't tell you. So this one was a holy grail. So the story behind this goes. I had this when I was a kid. And when I was a kid, if I remember right, this piece was broken. Uh, or it got broken at one point. Much like a lot of things, though, it uh, it went missing. So, uh, I had this when I was a kid. I never had any of the armor pieces, and I never had the gun. So, pretty fitting that I don't have the armor pieces, and I don't have the gun. So, this one, when I was at TFCon in Reston, Virginia in 2019, um, I was looking around through what I normally do, is I like to go through bins. If I see somebody selling a bin of Transformers, I will dig through it like a child. Um alongside the other children and I was digging through and digging through and I had come across a couple of things I kind of wanted there was a couple of sound waves a couple of uh, blasters but they were broken and I was gonna get them anyway and just maybe get a couple of them and make one that worked and at the bottom of the bin I found this now the only thing broken on this toy is this black piece right here is missing that's it and if I really wanted to I would take one of my 3d pen 3d print pins and just fill that in with black or maybe possibly design one but those angles are annoying that's the only thing wrong with this and when i say the only thing wrong with this yes i know you're gonna see it the die cast part on this side is a different color white than this but he's not yellow he's yellowed a little i will admit that he's off white he ain't white white but I've definitely seen these look like piss in a toilet bowl yellow. And he's not. And he transforms. And he works. So, while I was digging through this bin, I find him at the bottom. I pull him out, and I ask the guy how much. And he sells me this unbroken, fully functional G1 Jetfire for $8. Now, if you were at TFCon uh, in Reston in 2019, you would know there was an entire display, a gigantic Jetfire display that was a shelving unit for G1 Jetfires in the box that were like $300, $350 a piece. And I found him for $8. In pretty much the same condition from when I was a kid. Wow. So when anybody ever asks what my Holy Grail figure is, it's a little bit hard to kind of figure which one I really want because for the longest time, this was all I wanted. I don't even really care that I don't have the armor pieces. If I fell across them, if they fell on my lap, I'd take them. But I don't really care. Articulation. I gotta return the camera. I'm gonna probably bump things, but... Ratchets hand slide out. They do lock in place, it just wasn't. These are on ratchets. These are still tight. They still rotate. The head guns will go forward. Go back. The head turns. The legs have a weird hip. So, that's the leg joints. Knee joints. The toes open and close. So I'll take you through several of the transformations. I'm not going to do that on camera. Let's jump to the next one. So here he is in what we call Gerwalk mode, which was a mode from Robotech where they uh, they had their arms and they could use their guns, but they could still fly around. I wouldn't call this something official. There's parts of the mold that actually kind of get in the way. If you look right here, if I can point this out right here, um, you can't lock the legs in place. 
because the arms kind of get in the way. I guess if you really wanted to, you could do that. But it, it's forcing things in places I don't want to force them on a toy this old that's this awesome. So that's Gerwalk book. So here's Jetfire in jet mode. And if you'll notice, mine does still have its landing gear. All of the landing gear still works. They spring load, they pop out. They actually, I put my finger in front of them when they pop out because I'm terrified that the, the they come out so hard, I'm terrified they're going to break. And uh, so they smack my fingers and usually leave a bruise on my knuckles. Uh, they have metal wheels on all the landing gear. He rolls. This front one's not very strong, so it kind of collapses, but he rolls. The wings do fold. In and out. So there's G1 Jetfire in jet mode. And I, I don't know what else to say about this thing other than, yeah, that's, that's, that's a Macross. That, that's definitely, that's a, that's a jet from Robotech is what that is. And I wouldn't have it any other way because if you ask me, this was one of the best choices they made when they were importing toys over was to get a hold of that mold even if they only just made one transformer all right so we have g1 jet fire back for a little bit of size comparison so for size comparison here is g1 blue streak g1 twin twist Earthrise, Walgreens, Red Alert, and Siege Jetfire. Let's pull that back for a little. Siege Jetfire with G1 Jetfire. For a little bit of size comparison, as you can see. And when you're looking at Siege Jetfire, which I'll do a review on this later, this color scheme here does come over to Siege. So, my holy grail, Generation 1 Jetfire. Thank you for taking a look with me. This has been a lot of fun and a lot of memories. And I probably off camera played with him in jet mode like a three-year-old way more than I probably should have while I'm trying to do this in the middle of the night. But I don't care. I love this. This is my holy grail of G1s. So thank you. And uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. And I'll see you next time. Good night.